So a warm welcome to our meditation time together and Dharma talk. And I know I'm happy to be here. A number of years ago, it was raining and I came out of a house and walked across the street and passed a car and the car was all wet because of the rain and the rain was, water was kind of sliding down the front windshield of the car. And there was a bird that would stand at the top of the windshield and slide to the bottom, fly up again to the top and slide down to the bottom over and over again. Now, I don't know what's going on for the bird, for sure, but in my mind, the bird was playing. I could see no other reason for it to be sliding over and over again. That he just found it delightful and kind of uh, made it happy, made delightful, uh, pleasant, enjoyable, playful to be sliding up and down, sliding down this uh, wet glass. And uh, so whether that's actually what was going on or not, uh, it made me happy. And I just felt delighted and kind of uplifted and certainly distracted from what I was, whatever else I was thinking about and had a smile and probably a twinkle in my eye, just kind of, and, um, and the thing about this happiness, this joy that I had, uh, it didn't, uh, uh, it wasn't at the expense of anyone. No, there was no cost for it. There was no impact on anybody. It didn't take anything. There was no loss in the universe for me being happy. It was kind of uh, harmless, delightful, um, free kind of delight and joy. And so mudita, the topic for day, today, has a quality of, uh, of uh, there's no agenda, there's no need associated with it, there's no loss associated with it, there's no cost associated with it. It's a uh, joy that is free and and uh, has no negative impact and no cost. There's no environmental impact from this joy. It doesn't affect our finances to have this kind of joy. So as we begin sitting here, you might uh, close your eyes just as you are and consider some time in your life where you had such a joy, such a delight, or in something, anything, maybe just being alive, that was kind of a secondary joy in the sense that it was just delighting in something that was free to delight in, it was known you weren't searching for it, you weren't trying to make it or make it your own, possessing of it, possessive of it, of it. It had no cost. And uh, can you remember a time, it doesn't have to be dramatic, but can you remember a time when it was clear enough that the memory lingers for you of delight and joy the happiness, and that you maybe you can remember what it felt like in your face. Maybe you had a smile, or maybe your eyes had a certain aliveness, a little bit energized, awake eyes. Maybe there was a warm feeling in your body, a nice energetic, energi energized feeling in your body. Maybe your thoughts had become lighter, 
less weight, your thoughts themselves had a nice quality. And remember what it felt like, especially through your body. Maybe it's a warmth in your chest or in your belly. Or maybe there was a feeling of a spring in your step or a lightness on your limbs. Some part of your body was delightfully energized, not too much, but not too little. Remembering the scene, perhaps if there was one, an event, kind of made me a little bit in your mind's eye or in your thoughts. Reliving the situation where you felt this joy and happiness. But the focus is not so much on the event, but how it feels in your body, in your mind, in your heart. The subjective experience. And then gently, lovingly, take a few long, slow breaths that breathes, breathes through that joy, breathes with it. As you breathe in deeply, as if that joy spreads, can spread through your body. As you exhale deeply, as if you settle yourself into the body feeling a sense of well-being. Breathing in deeply and then gently exhaling in, exhale into yourself. And then letting your breathing return to normal. And maybe you can still feel those places in your body that became a little bit more alive with the joy that you felt. You can let go of the story, the event, and just feel what's happening in your body. Notice maybe how if there's tension in your body, it pulls parts of your body away from that well-being. On the exhale, relax that tension. So you can settle more deeply into a sense of well-being. And there might be plenty of feelings of discomfort or emotional discomfort that you feel. It's okay, but for this time, see if you can focus more on that place in your being where there is some well-being, some joy, where your capacity for joy is, is touched or gently stroked with awareness. the places of joy and well-being are stroked but with your breathing. Relaxing on the exhale. And if there's a lot of thinking, that also has a tendency of pulling one away from our embodied experience. The embodied experience of well-being. So you might gently quiet the mind or 
let go of your thoughts so that your attention can go more fully into the body breathing, breathing with whatever well-being there is. And not so much focusing on the well-being, letting it be on the sides or around you or around the breathing. Center yourself on the breathing now. Coming home to how the body, how the body experiences breathing. And perhaps as you breathe mindfully, The breathing can touch, move through the places of well-being. But those are more in the periphery or not the main center stage. They're there to support you, to encourage you to stay present here and do so with a light touch, a joyful touch, just breathing in whatever context, wider situation of well-being that's available, just here, just now. ever so gently, lifting up the corners of your mouth so there's a slight smile. Maybe enough there's a little sense of pleasure, delight that is born that wasn't there before. And letting that 
pleasure be a support for breathing, breathing with, breathing through, a sense of well-being. And as you inhale, maybe that well-being can spread through your body. And as you exhale, it can, that well-being can also spread, but kind of in a settling way, downward through your body. Inhaling upward through your body, exhaling downward through your body. Letting go of your thoughts on the exhale. Letting go of your disbelief on the exhale. So that for these few minutes, you're more connected to your body breathing. And any sense of well-being, however small there might be here,
And for the last period of the sitting, if you'd like to do a little mudita practice, bring to mind some person, a friend or a benefactor, an uncomplicated person in your life, where you can think of some way in which they are happy or joyful, successful, that something has happened for them that has brought them joy, well-being. And that in you knowing this about them, it brings you some joy as well. Spend a few moments thinking or visualizing the person, maybe the person's face, as it is when it's smiling or happy. Thinking about how they are and what they might be experiencing in their success or good fortune. or in the way that they are happy. And allow yourself to feel some joy in that, your own well-being. That in a sense, how they are is a gift of joy for you. contagious and you share a bit in that joy, delight in their success, their good fortune. And then keeping them in mind and see if you can find in yourself the wish that their good fortune should continue. They should have more occasions to feel the same happiness or similar happiness, to be happy. And then very gently, softly, you can give words to that wish. Softly in your own mind, you might repeat, may your happiness continue for a long time. Or if it's nice, you can add the word yes as an affirmation of all this well-being. Yes, may your well-being continue for a long time. Saying that phrase as a way of giving life to or embodying the way that you might resonate with their happiness and well-being. How you might affirm it and delight in it. Yes, may your well-being continue for a long time. And as you say this phrase, at the end of the phrase, imagine that you're opening your doors of your heart. And and giving your joy out to the world. Receiving and giving a sense of well-being.
And as you inhale, really sensing and experiencing what it's like to appreciate, if, to feel joy in their joy, a sense of well-being in their well-being. And on the exhale, a yes, an opening of your heart, a wish, a gift. May your well-being continue for a long time. And then coming to the end of this sitting, opening your heart, opening what inside of you has a yes for this world, a yes for your your life, opening to that which in you. It gives you a reference for wishing well to others. Opening your heart to well wishing, to an affirmation of others, a care of others, a generosity of being towards others, a generosity that can be expressed in a wish for the welfare and happiness of others, that their joy and well-being can continue. If they don't have joy and well-being, that they may have some. And may it be that all beings have welfare and well-being that all beings be safe and healthy, that all beings be free. And may it be that your ability to affirm or appreciate or value others from deep within you is translated into action, into words, and how you think about others. May you spend time today in words and deeds and in thought, contributing to the welfare and happiness of this world. May all beings be happy and free. (laughs) 